organization, even government, that loses its focus on leadership, there's only one direction that it goes. But any group, government, or organization that manages to organize its leadership, the only way is up. Not dependent on the qualification of the persons, but the fact that they stand to be counted as leaders. In Toastmasters, our tagline is where leaders are made. And one of the things that a leader does is communicate well. Hence, our focus on growing our communication skills. One of the things that we do is that every year, we elect new leaders. And in the past, when we were undistricted, we'd only have elections for club leaders. But now we also do have district leaders. We have an area director, for example, who looks after Kilele, and that is Stacey Alugo. I think many of you are familiar with her. And then this, the country as a whole, together with Ethiopia, is considered to be area, area D, of which I'm the division director. So I work with the area directors to do two things. One, improve the quality of the programs that are going on in the clubs by offering training and support. And number two is to grow clubs either by establishing new clubs, and I'm, I'm aware that you are about to found a new club at the Yeba <coughs> University, and also to increase the number of members, and I'm pleased to see two new members today, one who's already joined, and another who's about to join. <laughs> Intimidation. <laughs> However, today our agenda is different. We want to install the leaders who've been elected to serve this club for the next one year, starting from July up to the end of June 2019. But before I do that, I'm going to ask, the existing, the, the leaders who were existing before them to stand up at this point. I know Andrew is missing in action, but the rest of you can stand up. Okay. All right, so the present leaders who have served us in the year that just ended. And they are. So I'm here today to install the officers of Kilele Masters and prepare them for the challenges that lie ahead. The collective challenge is to make this club strong and dedicated to help people from all walks of life to speak in an effective manner and to listen with sensitivity and to think creatively. I will ask, I'll ask each of the officers to take to hold this girl as a symbol of leadership as I briefly describe the challenges that he or she must face and overcome in the year to come, starting with the second time. Now the Sergeant of Times is responsible to ensure that club has a place to meet at all times and the place is ready and adequate for the meetings that we have planned for the year. She also has a responsibility to look after the property of the club, which includes the banner, the gavel, and any other thing that the club may, book, may buy or own. I'm going to ask you, Lillian Kimando, the incoming Sergeant of Times, are you ready and prepared? for the responsibilities of the Office of Sergeant Times. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, so please pass on the banner and the governor to the secretary. Now, the secretary takes minutes of all our meetings, both the club meetings and our expo meetings. And she is also responsible for keeping all the documents that pertain to this club, whether it's registration as a society, whether it is your bylaws or constitution, it is the responsibility of the secretary to keep those documents. She also works closely with the president to ensure that meetings are always scheduled and tasks that have been assigned to officers are actually achieved. William Mukami, as the incoming secretary of Kilentus Masters, are you ready to take on the responsibilities of the office of the secretary? Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> Simon, you are the club's accountant, and you have the responsibility of collecting dues. Yes, you give the couple. Unless you have to be the treasurer. <laughs> <laughs> you have the responsibility of collecting dues from the members so that you're able to pay on time 
our subscriptions to Toastmasters International, as well as pay for any bills that you may incur as a club. The club membership also expects you to give a regular report of the state of our, of our money and ensure that you maintain integrity in everything that we do. Simon Hugo, are you ready and prepared to take on the responsibilities of Treasurer of United Toastmasters? Yes, I am. Thank you. Let's give him a <laughs> The Vice President for Public Relations is the club's link to the outside world and promotes it over the web, in the newspapers, on media if it's possible on air. And the challenge of the Vice President for Public Relations is to draw guests to our club, making it attractive and highlighting the benefits of, of membership to Kilele as well as to Toastmasters. Karen Jerry, as the Vice President for Public Relations for Kilele Toastmasters, are you ready and able to take on the responsibilities of Vice President for Public Relations? Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Karen. As soon as Karen has brought the hordes of people who will be coming here, the Vice President for Membership's challenge is to try and convert every guest into a member of Kilele. is to initiate and maintain contact with all the guests that are coming in, share information with them about why Kilele is the place to be, <coughs> encourage them to join the club. You're also expected to keep an eye on existing members and ensure that they remain members and query them when they seem to disappear as is going to become. Yaga Director. As the Vice President for Membership of Kilele Toastmasters, are you ready to take on this responsibility? I do. <laughs> 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 I do is really I'll answer to another question. But anyway. <laughs> the Vice President for Education is a custodian of the speech and contest schedule. The calendar of the club and generally the champion of the education program. You are the expert on anything education with regard to Toastmasters, and anyone in this class should look up to you if they have any query or knowledge requirement with regard to our education program. You are also expected to assign mentors to all members and keep motivating everybody in the club to continue with their education journey, as well as growing the leaders. Carol Kani, as Vice President for Education for Kilele Toastmasters, are you ready and able to take on this position? Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> Toastmaster Wanjiro Kapu, having been elected President of Kilele Toastmasters, you're its chief executive officer. You are expected to preside at all club and executive committee meetings. You are expected to give leadership to this club. It is your challenge to see that the club enables its members to achieve its goals. Please accept that government as a symbol of your leadership and dedication to office. The government is a symbol of power authority given to you by the members of the club. Use it wisely and with restraint. You're a member of a team as well as its leader. A team is more than just a collection of people. It's an emotional force rooted in the feelings, thoughts, and actions of all its members and the common goal of achievement, sharing, and mutual support. Work with your team to create a healthy, dynamic club. A club which everyone here will be proud to be a member of. Will you accept the challenge and perform your duties to the best of your abilities? Yes, Thank you. <laughs> it's now my pleasure to declare that these Toastmasters in front of you have been installed 
into the office to which they were elected. Let's give them a warm hand. And now ask the members of the club to stand. Now the growth and development of the Toastmaster program is dependent on these officers who are standing here in front of you. Do on your honor, as members of Toastmasters International and Kilele Toastmasters, do you pledge individually and as a group to stand by this club, live with it, work with it throughout the coming Toastmaster year? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Clap for yourself. So I will now give out these badges of this that actually confirm that the officers. And I'll start with the seventh attempt as she takes her seat, and that is Lillian. Lillian. Timid, 